Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a sequential turn signal indicator. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect 8 LEDs, then connect the cathode of first LED to anode of second LED. Then connect the cathode of third LED to anode of fourth LED. Then connect the cathode of fifth LED to anode of sixth LED. Then connect the cathode of seventh LED to anode of eighth LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of first LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of third LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of fifth LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of seventh LED. After that, I'm gonna connect CD4049 IC and connect its pin number one and three together its pin number 8 to ground, its pin number 16 and 15 to positive supply and its pin number 4, 5, 6 and 7 to remaining pins of 470 ohm resistors and its pin number 11 to cathode of second LED and its pin number 12 to cathode of fourth LED and its pin number 13 to cathode of sixth LED and its pin number 14 to cathode of eighth LED. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 1 to pin number 2 of the IC and its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 9 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 2 of the transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a triple five timer IC and connect its pin number 1 to ground, its pin number 4 and 8 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin number 2 of 555 timer IC and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 ohms resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to pin number 1 and 3 of CD4049 IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 4.7K resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim pot and connect its center pin and one side pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC and its other side pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.